Long before daybreak, Cubans began walking to the Plaza of the Revolution. After a two-year hiatus brought on by the pandemic, Cuba's Communist Party and government spared no effort to make this annual May Day march one to remember. Healthcare workers led the parade in front of revolutionary leader Raul Castro. The still influential former president and his chosen successor, Miguel Diaz Canel, standing side by side as a symbol of continuity. There were the familiar chants of loyalty to deceased leader Fidel Castro and against the U.S. government's decades long economic embargo against Cuba. We will defend our socialism as we have for 61 years for Fidel and Raul. Cuba is one of the few countries in the world that still marks International Workers' Day like this. But make no mistake, there's very little for the average salaried worker in this country to celebrate right now, because this country is witnessing one of the worst economic depressions in its history. Intensified U.S. economic sanctions, the pandemic, and a monetary reform that has sharply reduced workers' purchasing power have led to soaring inflation and unleashed the largest exodus of Cubans since 1980. The Communist Party continues to say that the state-controlled sector will save the economy, and it's not true. The young people all want to leave. They've lost all hope. Cubans are expected to take part in the May Day March and are generally brought here from their place of work. But like Annie Bex, there are those who say they still believe in Cuba's system. Because I'm convinced that this is the country that I want to defend. That's why I'm here, to support my leadership and my people. And during these hard times, this march clearly aimed to send a message to domestic and foreign opponents that Cuba's government is still able to mobilize large numbers of its people. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Havana.